This is a view from the front of the hotel. As you can see at the bottom there is a sports bar. Big Easy. And that's where the sounds were coming from last night with the game between Manchester United and Liverpool. That was an FA Cup tie. Quarter final game I think. And I believe that Manchester United beat Liverpool in extra time. So Alright, so now what I want to find guys is a coffee shop and that has a good breakfast as well. So let's check that out when we get down. All right, just waiting on the elevator. And it is right on time. <laughs> Gee. Let's go. Good morning everybody. Once again from the beautiful Phnom Penh. Out here in Cambodia. This is day two in Cambodia for me, and uh, I've done some stuff yesterday. Today I'm going to do some more exploring. But the first thing I got to do is find breakfast, and specifically coffee. Let's go. Ooh, look at this, guys! They're selling cottage pie, buffalo wing, fish and chip, oh, chili con carne, chili con carne. Now you know guys that you are in a tourist zone when they sell these kind of food and they have big sports bars and they're playing European football. Last night was the uh, FA Cup and look at this guy. Briyani, roti, naan, mutton curry, another Indian restaurant. Let's see where's proof. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go to the one right across from my hotel because I saw that they had homemade bread and um, I'm actually in the mood for some bread right now. I don't really eat a lot of bread anymore but uh, every now and then, you know, I just, I just can't resist the temptation. Let's see. Okay. I mean, look at that. Mm, okay. Looks like a French joint. Alright. It's French meat and stuff. Okay. First thing I want to do is go for the uh, cappuccino. Let's do that. I want to go for the grilled cheese on toast, onion and tomato. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's my cappuccino. Grilled cheese on toast with tomato and onion. Tasty. It's that breakfast, man. Mmm, you just set me up. That's the sports bar. This area that I'm staying in, I think. Uh, I've seen a lot of English, Australian, German and French and you can see by the types of food that's been sold at the restaurants as well that it's catering for those people. Um, I'm from South Africa so I think our kind of food would be similar to what they're eating in England because there's a lot of the same influences, the Indian, the Chinese, um, yeah, we eat a lot of the similar food, samosas, rice dishes, biryanis, um, what else, the stews, those kind of things. So yeah, uh, that's why I say this area was quite cool for me because it caters for that people. The fish and chips, yeah, it's a big one. So I ate all the things I shouldn't be eating. Um, I'm not supposed to eat bread. Not supposed to have cheese and I'm not supposed to have milk in my coffee. I normally take it with almond milk. They didn't have any and I took my cappuccino now with with cream. We're living on the edge. Um, so let's call it 2024, the year of living dangerously. What I say guys is everything in moderation. 
I haven't had cheese in probably six months, maybe even more. I haven't had bread in probably three months. And I haven't had milk in forever. So <clears throat> it's not like I'm going to break out or anything. It's just the things that I chose not to eat. And uh, it's part of a whole detox. <laughs> Pardon me. It's part of a whole detox process that I go through from time to time. Um, for no particular reason, no health reason specifically, but it's just for, um, for a lifestyle. Just to feel better about yourself and to feel good. And I find that when I cut out certain things at certain times in my life, it actually, it actually makes me feel good. So I'm all for that. So I don't think that having that meal now would spoil things for me. All right. But like I say, guys, with everything, as with everything in life, do it in moderation. Don't deprive yourself, but do it in moderation. So this is the Royal Palace, guys. This is where I wanted to come now, but it is closed. So I'm going to have to come back at 2. So Google Maps shows that it, that it closes at 12, but I believe that it closes at 11. So that information is not quite accurate. It's the Royal Palace. There's a garden next to the palace as well, and that's a nice chill out spot as well. But I believe that that's, that is closed also. So, yeah, man, it is what it is, guys. Sometimes you get it right, and sometimes you don't. Just another thing you got to watch out for, guys, is that these uh, tuk tuk drivers will be hassling you all the time for rides and sometimes they give you misinformation so these guys will misinform you on things just so you can hop a ride with them so they'll tell you for instance the the palace is closed and uh, why don't you buy some time and go around the city and they'll give you a ride obviously at a cost but these guys have uh, all of them have different prices for for those rides and you will find that if you book a ride on grab you can actually book a tuk-tuk like these ones on grab I mean just like you can book a, a normal car or a van on grab you can also book a tuk-tuk and the, you'll see the price immediately sometimes or most of the time it's like a dollar or less so just to go around the city from the one place to the other, I think up to like four kilometers would be like a dollar. This is the river I was on last night. What I'm going to do now guys, seeing that these places are closed, the uh, Royal Palace is closed and also the temple I wanted to visit is closed, which is the uh, Wat Nam Temple. Right, so I'm going to go to the Central Market, which is a uh, big attraction out here in Phnom Penh as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to book a grab tuk-tuk. Let me just use the app. I'll be with you in a sec. This is my driver. Here we go. Central Market? Yes, thank you. All right. have arrived at the central market that's it over there it's an indoor market it was about a 27 minute walk and I didn't feel like walking in this heat it's like 27 degrees Celsius so it was best to take the tuk-tuk and it cost me a dollar
check this out some flowers on the outside very cool So this is not even the market yet, this is just on the outside, so you'll see some other stores here as well. Would you like something, sir? Thanks. You want something, sir? No, thank you. Right, let's enter. And immediately, you see the jewelry stands wow Ooh, once again guys I know people will absolutely die in here I'm not gonna mention any names but they are gonna be watching this video and they're gonna kill me They're gonna kill me for not bringing anything. But you know, guys. Sometimes in life, you gotta take that risk. Check this out. It looks like a like a train station on the inside. I get that vibe like a central station. Like I've seen the one in in Cairo, the central train station. Looks similar to this. The one now in um, in Bangkok as well. Even the one in Cape Town. So now we enter the electronic section where you'll see all sorts of uh, goodies, gadgets, lighters, Knives, uh, ear pods, you can find some cell phone accessories, uh, chargers, well, headphones, just about anything. It's surprisingly not that crowded in this uh, in this market. So now we get to the clothing section for the ladies once again. I guess I'm at the ladies section. I'm really opening myself up here, guys, for some serious, serious scolding. Because if I don't come home with one of these items for certain people, I am really, really going to be in trouble. They will let me have it in no uncertain terms. Now check it out, man. Well, obviously, guys. Ah, oh, now this is my area. Cameras. Ooh. Alright guys, I'm much more into the uh, compact ones these days, the action cameras and the pocket cameras. These are more for the uh, professional guys, the enthusiasts. I'm just a, uh, using the vlog style cameras. But even these, I know some people that would love me to come home with one of these. Here's a tripod obviously that I can use. Not sure if that's the real deal. <laughs> I doubt it very much. Here in the JBL, Bose, Beats. Mm -hmm. 
right. Can just get lost in here, man. Another one of my favorites, the shades. Ray Ban. Hi there. Oh. I'm not sure. I, I doubt that it's the real thing, guys. I mean, obviously, um, the prices they're going for, they're probably not the real thing. But they look very, very similar. Or they look so close to the real thing. Okay, so now we get to some, uh, maybe some household things, tissues, um, napkins, toilet paper, all right, some more wipes. Mm. All right, some uh, shampoos, soaps, toothpaste. All right. Just about everything you need. Probably the kitchen. Uh, probably the kitchen sink as well. Oh, you can have your nails done here too. Pedicure, manicure. Once again for the ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm moving through this fast guys because uh, you might have seen it at on the other side as well there's some luggage uh, items as well I'm sure they'll have a massage ball in here as well some repairs being done to the jewelry. Yeah. I gotta say I like the layout. It's all uh, different sections for different things. But you know what? I haven't seen men's clothing. Alright, let's go to the other side again. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I just didn't um, go all the way what might be on this side yeah I didn't go to this wing yet guys another wing all right I, I see ladies and gents clothing on this side so. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely ladies. All right, guys. So if you're coming to Phnom Penh, uh, definitely worth a check out. The Central Market. It's an indoor market, and uh, as you've just seen now from the video. It's got everything that you possibly need. <laughs> uh, the only thing I didn't see here was probably furniture uh, and outdoor stuff, but uh, outdoor furniture at least, and uh, those kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I haven't seen appliances, so uh, it's more the smaller items: clothing, jewelry, gadgets. Um, yeah like uh like hobby stuff you know that kind of thing shades get the idea you'll find it in here and i haven't been asking around for prices because uh i'm not really buying anything so i don't really want to give them hope and and i'm kind of a sucker because once I just start feeling for the people and then I just end up buying stuff you know and I just want to avoid that uh, because I have my different way of being generous so of the indoor market there's also these other pop-up stores 
and you'll probably find some of the same things and it might even be cheaper than it is in the actual market so you're gonna just have to decide where you want to be because these uh, little alleys go uh, I've seen them earlier all around you'll see these little alleys and, and stores I'm actually going to a mall uh, sorry to yes to a big shopping mall I need to find a Puma store and I might have to buy myself a new pair of sneakers these ones I'll explain to you I've had a little bit of a mishap with them and got the front flap got loose while I was in CM Reap at Uncle Wat and then I got home and tried to put some super glue on there and I think I messed it up completely because then the super glue actually just ran onto the onto the uh, soft part of the shoe and now it's hard in front and it's hurting my toe <laughs> right let's see for the number plate nine, nine double two six nine. let me just check your number wait nope it's not him either Six. You grab? grab? Let me just see. Yes. Okay. That's it. So we double check the number. Oh. Locked in. Just like I'm locked into the city. Right. So and then what happened, guys? I put on the super glue. And it must have been so runny that it actually ran down onto the onto that part and now it's completely hard and that's exactly what's hitting my toe and uh, but I've had these for quite a while now guys I actually use them exclusively when I travel I don't wear them often at home so I only really use them when I travel so that's been since 2021 and uh, I've been using them exclusively. It's one dollar twenty-five for this ride. It's about a three-kilometer ride, so it's not that bad either. That side, eh? Alright. Yeah. Alright, so that's the mall I want to be at. I don't know how you pronounce it. Aeon. Alright, let's go. It's like a more business side of the city. So it's about three kilometers out. And you already see it's already seemed like a different vibe out here altogether. Right, that might be an entrance on that side. Oh, no, 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 there's an entrance. 1A. Let's go. Okay. Uh, food court. Mmm, look at those donuts, guys, and breads. Cookies. Oh. Might have to come back and let's go to the first floor. I wear all kinds of sneakers guys. I have all brands. I've got uh, Nike, I've got Adidas, I've got New Balance, I've got Puma. But the one that I prefer most when I'm traveling is Puma because I prefer the, uh, the fit most of all and um, even though the others are great but I think some of them are lifestyle sneakers they just for looking good <laughs> and they're comfortable but for the amount of walking that I'm doing when I'm traveling the Pumas were always the better deal so it's, there's something about the fit and about the uh, 
the the sole, the, the cushioning, it's very soft. And I need that, guys. When I'm walking, I walk extremely, extremely long distances. So I think now we just got to find our way. Because Skechers is on this side, so normally all these... Um, do you know where Puma is? Puma. Oh, shame, man. I just asked the security guy. Uh, but he didn't understand me at all. So that's Skechers. And normally all these... Uh, brand companies are close to each other so let's see yeah so some of the other sneakers I have like the Nikes and the Adidas and the New Balance those are the ones that I wear when I when I go out or when I when I have a relaxing day or something like that um, when I go running I would wear the New Balance um, so they're all kind of cross trainers or running shoes like these ones too, they are actually cross trainers. You can use them for gym, for running, for walking. Um, uh, so, and some of the Nikes that I have, they just look too pretty. They seem like I should never get them dirty. <laughs> right. But I see Puma Kids. Mm, brands out there. Okay, so Puma Kids are next door, so maybe they... Hey... Please tell me it's not on a different spot. Oh, this is it, this is it. Right, I'm, I have no idea of the prices. So, but we're gonna find out now. That one looks cool. $194. Is that $194? Yes, ma'am. Alright, okay. We'll work that out now, no? Uh, let's see, this one looks cool. And this one? Oh no, but this, I don't like the heel, no, it's okay. Let me just see. That one's high as well. Actually. What's the price on this one? Please. One one three. Okay. All right. Let me just get out my old calculator. That one looks cool. It's just that orange is gonna be in my face. I like for these ones just the black and white guys because I wear different color clothing, so I don't want to clash with my clothing. So that's why I just go for like the black and white in the walking sneakers. All right, those sneakers were too expensive. They were going from $194 upward and then uh, the cheapest one I found was $135 and it's not even the ones that I like. So I uh, wasn't too impressed with the uh, selection that they had. I can actually get it much cheaper in South Africa and that is from a legit Puma store. So um, uh, for some reason the prices are much higher out here. You would have thought that it would be cheaper but I think when it comes to brands and things, uh, prices are pretty much the same everywhere, um, especially with these franchises uh, or these big franchises. Um, obviously things like food and accommodation and those things and transport might be cheaper in, in Southeast Asia. But when it comes to clothing like, uh, like these brands, H&M, uh, Skechers, I mean all of them that, that you see all over the world, uh, Levi. Um, you know those 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 big names they are pretty much standard prices all over the world so many times people will ask you hey bring me a pair of sneakers from from uh, Thailand because it's gonna be cheaper out there guys not really it well the sneakers won't be cheaper out here there there's I'm witness now that they were more expensive out here um, but uh, but it might also be that these are new stock and um, that they you know that um, some of them are seasonal so when I buy them cheaper in South Africa it probably means that it's either the end of the range or or uh, it's now a winter range that's coming in or a summer range and then the prices might be cheaper so uh, so it's a give and take so there are sneakers in South Africa that go also from 4,000 Rand upwards but the ones that I'm looking for specifically would have been maybe a uh, thousand Rand uh, between 800 and a thousand rand so 
Um, but getting back to my point guys, those things aren't necessarily cheaper in these countries. So you're asking for electronics, drones, uh, cameras, those kind of things. No, you're not going to pay cheaper in these countries guys unless you're buying a knockoff. And uh, <laughs> I'm not about knockoffs uh, when it comes to these things. I'd rather buy once and I buy the quality than having to buy five times. Because I've just come from the Grand Central um, or the Central Market and I could have probably bought me a pair of knockoff pumas there. But uh, I could wear that maybe for two weeks or a month and then it's time to buy a new pair. So uh, when it comes to those things guys, quality uh, is your best bet. And uh, you're going to pay for quality uh, unfortunately. That's uh, how much was that? 1000 real. That's 25 cents US. They have my favorite, the dry, uh, sorry, the uh, ginger ale. Uh, that is 50 cents, but it's warm. They have nothing cold, everything's warm. The other ones are cold though the tonic water and the soda water, they are cold, but. Uh, these are the energy drinks guys i don't go for these things and of course i've been uh, off coke for the last what going for three years now in june it will be three years so i haven't had a drop of coke in three years and you see guys these are the milk coffee and again <laughs> like i say with the milk but what did we say it's the year of living dangerously i guess guys when i get back home i'll want to have milk again for the next year or so so 